fans are quite excited. Because that's where we are, we're at Ellen Road today, and uh, it's a bit of a centenary event for them. They've had all their past players on the pitch. So it's, it's a packed house. So Leeds away on a day when everyone's very excited already. They're near the top of the league. We're very mid-table. They played really well against Middlesbrough, but they were very poor. So it's a tough one. It, it could be a heavy defeat today. But if a really good Blues turns up and we can contain them, I think we might get a draw. So I'm going to go for Leeds 1, Blues 1. Keep right on, everyone. Well, I've gone for 1-1 uh, all, all week predicting, uh, in my prediction for this game based on the fact that uh, Blues and the one thing that, that combines Blues and Leeds is they're both very unpredictable. Uh, blues blues could, could nick a win, Leeds could, Leeds could, uh, could, could, could register a handsome victory. Neither side ever draws, so I'm based solely on their unpredictability. I'm going to go 1-1. Keep right on. Yeah, you too, Swayne. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, well, I'm going 1-1. Rich, really. I don't know. You don't know which team's going to turn up with ours, with our lads today. You know, so we, we play good. We, we we lose. We play rotten. We win. We don't know because Leeds are flying it now, and they're going to want to do it for the crowd today with it, doing their centenary celebrations. <laughs> Somehow it's still nil-nil. Uh, as we kind of thought, Leeds are really strong, really fast, and all over us. Um, down the wings, causing us loads of problems, especially down this side, their right, our left. Uh, but although we've made a few rather silly mistakes and haven't had a lot of possession, some amazing defence uh, from <laughs> Lukas Djukovic heading balls away from the six-yard box, like you wouldn't believe. Lee Camp made a fantastic save. I mean, almost point blank save. Um, Colin Pedersen uh, and Mark Roberts all been really, really good. And uh, Jude Bellingham as well. Everyone's really poor shifting. Sunich nearly broke the ball with a, a tackle, uh, which earned him a yellow card. So it's been a really, really gritty, hard fought defensive display. Don't know how Leeds haven't scored. I've got a feeling they're going to. We don't look like scoring, but you never know. But miraculously, a very loud and lively Ellen Road at half time. It's Leeds nil, Blues nil. this in my car because it's a bit quieter uh, well we lost 1-0 against clearly one of the best teams in the league and in the first half yeah it really showed and we, we struggled really really struggled but we did magnificently well defensively uh, but then the second half well they came out fighting but we certainly did and throughout the, the a good chunk of that second half we suddenly started to play 
really well. And I thought we could nick a goal. And then we had a mistake. I don't know who it was. Someone said it was Colin. Someone said it was uh, Jude Bellingham. Don't know. But we made a mistake and they nipped in and scored. But, you know, we still were in the game. We'd really turned it around. We were still, really still in the game. And so I'm gutted that we didn't get anything out of that. I think we could have, we could have well got a, a, a draw or maybe even a win. But mistakes cost us today and just a lack of, of that cutting edge uh, when it mattered um, let's see how we get on in our next game keep right on everyone <music>